I think it's becoming increasingly obvious that I have a few obsessions. Whether that be geography, chemistry, science, and, well, I'm sure there's more. But, well, space, there we go. I knew I was forgetting something. But chemistry and element collecting, I think, is becoming increasingly more obvious if we just look at my element collection here. And that's why this purchase from Luciteria that I did Thursday, it's now Tuesday, uh, really fits the bill. Now if, you've, now, if you've read the title, you know exactly what's in here. You know exactly what we're doing today. We're going to unbox and review this piece of hardware from Luciteria Science. So anyways, let's... Roll the intro. Whoa, 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 there, past me. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Hi, future Doc here. This video is from a bygone era. A uh, era of not so great videos where we strive to make better videos and we make shorts every single day. Please subscribe before I roll the intro. Uh, every video since the creation of this one, in theory, is supposed to be up of the most highest and better quality. I don't know if that made sense. Anyways, now we can roll the intro. Hey there, YouTubers! Hi there, Dr. Sheep here, and welcome back to Cooking with Dr. Sheep. I guess this is the real intro. Today we're unboxing Luciteria's 10 millimeter cube and ampule, uh, display case. So, let's just get her sliced open here. I hope they have no purchase info on the inside. Because that would make this really awkward and really difficult. It got here relatively fast. It had priority two-day shipping for USPS. But I bought it on a Thursday, and Monday was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so I don't know. So take that as well. So let's open her up here. I thought I cut the side, but all right. Oh. All right. Oh, does it come in pieces? Oh, I think it comes in pieces. Oh, but okay, this is where I have purchase info. Here is their new, uh, I guess, info talking about how they make their stuff, and it's much higher quality than the previous ones. It's also not folded up into oblivion like the previous ones. So I did order a few more elements along with this. So box is empty. Throw that out of the way. So we've got here, we've got a few of the elements I've ordered here. We'll get to those here in a minute. Here's the hardware. I wasn't expecting to have to assemble things today, but here we go. Whatever element this is, it's really freaking heavy. I know what one of them are. All right, bear with me here while I open these up. So this first one is fluorine. Uh, fluorine is not an actual white element. It's actually more of a yellow but this is a block of Teflon. And I'm a little disappointed because I don't know if you can tell, but the F and nine and fluorine etched on it is not very good. Future Doc here. I did end up emailing Luciteria and they're like, hey, why didn't you read the website enough? It's Teflon, Teflon's hard to get things to stick to. It says right there that the lettering isn't gonna be that great, so you're warned. And I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Thanks. So be ready for that if you're buying the Teflon to replace your fluorine. But anyways, it's Teflon. So Teflon is actually 75% fluorine. And fluorine likes to bond to everything. So I mean, Teflon is the closest you're going to get because you're not going to be able to keep it in anything. And it's going to be any anything of any significance. Open the next ones here. Okay, future doc here once again. So I was just gonna leave the audio I had in originally, but it's not very good. Basically, I bought fluorine, tellurium, 
and Samarium. And I basically talk about how I would take them all out of the packages, but I don't really want to, especially Telerium, because Telerium, when it gets on your skin, it absorbs in and you start to smell like garlic because, well, it's just under sulfur, if I'm not mistaken, and which is another smelly element. So, yes, that's what these two cubes are. And I bought Samarium because I only had one pure rare earth and that was Gadolidium. And so I wanted to add another one to my collection because it was just all alone there at the bottom of my periodic table. Anyways, from here on out, we move back into actually assembling the display case. This is definitely supposed to be the top, so basically, I think it lays on top, something like that. That's my assumption, but I also, it might be this way. So I'll have to look at photos online, but honestly, I'm probably going to do it this way. But. We have to do some assembling, so let's get started on that. Okay, I have it figured out. So basically, you take the bolts, you unthread them from these standoffs, and you have two sets of plastic washers. You'll have smaller ones, and then these bigger ones. So the smaller ones, if you place your sheet with holes in it like this, will go on the underside of this, along with the thinner part of the bolt. Then you want to thread your plastic washers over top just like that. Next, you'll want to place the back of your display case over it like that. Take your standoff, thread, thread, and keep threading. And by, your, by the time you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Luciteria, I'm a little disappointed. I I had read something where if you get enough cubes in this, I don't know if I have that problem quite yet, but they actually start to weigh down the middle and it bows. So it can't just sit on a table like this, like their old one. So that's something I'm gonna have to look into. But, I also have more cubes in this. I just don't actually have enough of these for all of them. I've got four more, I believe. So I'll be able to put, I have four more cases, five elements that will actually work. I've got one more that still has its, that has a case. I just never took it out. Uh, so let's cut to that. Boom, I've added the elements that I plan to add. So, actually we got a little bit of everything from everywhere. Oh boy, that light's going to be really bad at reflecting. Anyways, so let's go over why I've added each one, and then, th then we'll go over my final thoughts on this product. So, number one, magnesium, because it's oxidized quite a bit, and I want to help try and stop it. It's probably too late, but nevertheless. And then my silver one. Same reason, it's also probably too late. Cadmium, the actual, the cadmium is actually oxidizing, uh, but it's toxic, and I don't like having it with my other cubes, so it's gonna be in here now. Gallium, it actually never made it in with my other cubes, uh, and that's because I was always afraid that it might melt, and it sits right above and right next to a bunch of elements that it bonds with once it melts, so. I never wanted to actually put it with my other cubes, so. It finally has a home. And then sulfur, because it's super delicate compared to all the other cubes. And every time I, I moved this or did something, I was always afraid, like, oh my gosh, it's gonna, it's gonna have issues. But I've since then fixed that. So let's go over my final thoughts. It's not a very great design. I, these standoffs, they really irritate me because look at this. Why? Why is there so much? Look how much standoff there is. I mean, it's nice. It sits nice and high off the table, but that just feels unnecessary. Also, there's no instructions. Uh, that's why we have this video, and maybe they have a video on their website showing you how to do it, but there really should be 
instructions. So, Luciteria, if you're listening, if you're watching, because my last videos about this stuff got thousands of views, so it's very possible they're watching, please, please do that. And uh, there's no display case, there's no little case to hold it in like this one. So that's something I'm going to have to work on. The only issue with building a case for it is, are the ampules. I don't know how tall the ampules are, and so I don't know if that's going to cause issues. All the plastic cu holding cubes for these, I will get an ampule so I know how much room I have. And then when I build a display case, I'm going to have to account for this. So stay tuned for that video. That'll be a fun little project to build for this thing. That's it. Oh, I just realized it's going to have to have a white background. Crap. Well, that's a future doc issue. Uh, all in all, this, this product was, I'd say, when they made this product, it, 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 it's almost a t 9 or a 10. But they didn't think about, you know... All the elements. They didn't think about how some of them can be made into cubes. Some of them will never fit in here. This one, they thought about it, designed it, but I feel like how people display their elements and how it kind of works with everything was an afterthought. And it's like, oh, we already have it designed, so you know. It is what it is now. I hope, and this is their third revision. There was another one that didn't have these. It was just for cubes. But it's going to have the same issues. I think they also have one that's just for sample ampules, but I be I don't quote me. All in all, I think this will look nice. Uh, I have to, I'm just going to build a display case for it. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Whoa, whoa there, past me. Future Doc here again. There's more to talk about with this thing. So I went ahead and bought uh, all the remaining plastic cubes I needed to fill this in. And it's quite heavy, and I am getting the Boeing problem, as one of their viewers had specified. few things. One, when you buy the glass cubes for the noble gases and a few other gases, uh... The sticker is on the bottom, which I guess is about the only place you could put it. But the now it interferes with the silk screening on the acrylic, and so it doesn't look as good. Plus, you know, there's the little knob at the top. So I can't complain about that too much. It is what it is. These holes. These holes are supposed to be for ampules. Now, I know the europium. You can get a cube. And I know the thallium, you can get a cube, and it has a little ampule that holds the cube. So those, those holes, I'm sure, will be fine. They're just really expensive. I can't afford them at this moment. But someday, I will put them there. I'm sure they'll be fine. But these, they don't make cubes for. They make sample ampules. And they said the flat bottom ones are the ones to use. So I went and bought said ampule. Sorry, it's so cloudy. I, I should really handle it with uh, gloves. I went and bought it. They don't... They're, they're too small. They don't fit. Why? Why would you... And they're super tall, too. It's just so... If this is supposed to sit on a table, why are the standoffs so tall? It's... Why? The company's great. They do great products. But this one, I just... It was so close to being perfect, and the other, you know, adjoining products were so close, but they just, they stumbled. They stumbled. Now, when I build a case to hold this thing, I now have to figure out how to hold all of these in the future in place on here, so it can be displayed properly. Well, that's just a lot of engineering work. Anyways, that's all I had to say. Just... Cut back to past me and the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And good night. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Oh, you're still here? I thought I told you to go home. 
Oh, you want more? I'm flattered. Check out the playlist. If you want exclusive content, check out my Instagram, doctor underscore sheep underscore YouTube. That's all lowercase. If you want to help the earth, subscribe. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to plant 10 trees. If you feel that's too small, then check out my channel tour where I lay out even bigger goals. Finally, stick around for the next 20 seconds to give me that sweet watch time. Bye.